we had a pretty good spring break um, well, to an extent. I mean, everyone always wants to be better than three and five, but for a team that uh, that was our first time being outside, I thought we did pretty good. Um, we hit the ball, we played good defense. Our pitchers, for the most part, did what they were supposed to do. Um, and we played some tough competition down there. Um, because of everything I saw, you know, I expect big things for us. I expect us to take steps forward. I feel we filled some gaps. We still have a lot to work on, but I think we can make improvements on the nine wins from last year and hopefully make that push for conference playoffs. Uh, key returners for us, if you, you know, if you think of your basic nine players from last year starting for us consistently, we bring back eight. So we bring back a good core. I would have to say some big ones for us are our captains, Ali Smith, Angelica Clark, and Ashley Morgan. They bring good leadership for us. Um, Jell was our starting catcher basically for 90% of our games last year. And she's going to be there again for us this year. She's going to help our young pitching staff take steps forward and uh, really work with them plus work with uh, three new catchers that we brought in. Um, and then Allie, big bat for us. Leader, our lone senior, you know, she'll be good for us, you know, right in the middle of the lineup producing a lot of runs for us. Plus she brings a lot of different skills. She's aggressive um, on the base pass. Plus she's a good defender. And then probably the next big one for us would be Bree Turner. Bree uh, led the team in batting hours last year. After spring break last year, she switched sides um, at the plate and she hit almost 600 in conference um, so she'll be big for us when she uh, when she's in the game as for in impact newcomers we brought in a big group um, we have nine kids that are, are new this year um, we have two transfers in Kat uh, Kalbeck and Taylor Springer who I think will give us some a good spark for us. Taylor will pitch for us sometimes, plus she'll play some defense at first, and she'll be our five hitter for most of the year and give us a lot of pop. Um, Kat comes, transfers from a, a very good junior college. Um, and she's gonna bring a lot of leadership for us, a lot of skill in the infield and at the top of our lineup. And then our best freshman probably would be Kelsey Shuey, um, as she just got pitcher of the week in our conference from spring break. She's going to be our three hitter. She's going to be a lot of, bring a lot of power for us and really control things on the rubber, which will help us out this year after losing Jenna Crayer from last year. Um, and then we have one newcomer who's not new to the program. Alyssa Connor didn't play last year. Uh, she's back though. As a junior, her freshman year, she led the team in average and home runs. So she should be a good spark for us in the lineup. This year, we, we, we brought in a new coach to help out, Coach Ward, who brought in his favorite style, which is being very aggressive on the base paths. And we're hoping to implement that this year, to be more aggressive, really to make the defense work more. Hopefully, it'll increase our runs. You know, it'll, it'll help us overall. But we plan on, you know, doing a little small ball, be aggressive on the base paths. You know, and with some of the new kids, we'll have some long ball with it but we're going to look to try to be aggressive in every aspect we can defensively and offensively. In the NEAC, it's, it's really tough for us to see where we're going to be um, softball-wise in the North. It's a very tough conference. Um, SUNY Poly, Cuca, Cobleskill made playoffs last year, and they bring back basically everybody, and they're going to be three outstanding programs again. And then you throw in Penn Tech, who joined the conference this year, who went 20 and 13 last year and beat SUNY Poly, who was one of our top teams. So it's going to be tough. I think we're going to be able to compete with everybody. And, you know, it's going to be one of those days, hopefully we're on and really take it to them. But I think every day we're going to compete. You know, we're going to try to push for that third and second seed for playoffs. I mean, we want number one, but we know the North is a tough conference for softball. So we're just going to try to work hard every day and try to compete in the conference. A couple keys for us to be successful is going to be our growth. You know, we have 11 players that are sophomores and freshmen, really have one senior. We're a very young team. If the team really takes those strides forwards, forward and grows, we should be successful. And um, 
as the year goes on, I think everyone will see the growth in the players as we'll get better and better as the year goes on, as you know, we get our games in. And then execution. It's all about execution in this game. If you can execute <coughs> up at, at the plate and on defense, you're going to win. Usually the team that wins is the team that executes more. And those are the ones that come out successful at the end of the year. You know, the big thing for Cast Softball is we're trying to grow and, and get back to where it used to be, say, 10, 15 years ago, where it was a very successful program, a uh, program that everyone had fun at. Um, and I think people will see that this year with us being aggressive, you know, playing a fast paced style on offense. And uh, we have some players that can really make a lot of plays on defense. I think if people come out and watch, they're going to have fun.